Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Spider-Man issue 5. Uh, and before I start talking about this issue, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, that Comic Uno episode 152, um, and that is annotated. All the ex exclusive comics for that comic are in the description below. Also, guys, you might have heard it in my voice already. I have laryngitis, so um, I it, it will sound weird, but you guys have reviews, so that's good. Um, so, <clears throat> so let's talk about this issue of Spider-Man issue 5. Now, sadly, also, um, I had something weird happen in my Comixology pull list. So, um, I didn't end up getting a lot of printed comics this week, which I will be getting those printed comics next week uh, when my store has it. Uh, so, there's a lot of digital comics this week, which kind of sucks because I like showing you guys the artwork. But, uh, let's talk about Spider-Man issue 5. Um, and I love how my, my voice just went totally high when I said kind of. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll be the fun part of this review. Uh, but let's start talking about it. So, Spider-Man issue 5, um... Continues, I feel like, what issue one was really going for. This whole vlogger person explaining, um, you know, again, more of this uh, new wave of journalism and, and really showing that in um, in Spider-Man and reporting on Spider-Man, which is a big thing. And that gets gonky and gold balls worried. It's like, what happened to Miles? And also anal analyzes what happened in the last two issues or last issue where Gonke just told uh, gold balls that Miles was Spider-Man and this is a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, and what does this mean for the relationship between gold balls and Gonke and Gonke and Spider-Man? That's a big part. Um, also, we get Black Cat in this issue. So if you like her being a villain, uh, she's here. I personally don't, so yeah, that was definitely not an enjoyable part for me. Uh, the only comic I semi like that Black Canary is a villain is probably um, Silk, because I think they've done that pretty well. But other than that, I still don't love her motives of being a villain. Um, but yeah, by the end we see that uh, Jessica Jones is going to be watching Miles because Miles doesn't. Uh, Miles' mother doesn't really know what to do with him, and obviously the grandma is just like. Uh, the devil on the shoulder saying, oh, Miles is a bad kid, Miles is a bad kid, you gotta do something. Uh, which is weird because, um, again, Miles' mother before in the Ultimate Universe was very supportive of Miles and knew everything before he was even Spider-Man. So it's kind of weird to see her in this position and feels like she's a changed character, which is another fault of mine in, in the new Spider-Man series. Now, uh, I, I thought this issue was okay. Um, I think my favorite parts being the Gonke and Gold, Ball, uh, Gold Balls uh, portion. The artwork's pretty good. I think that's improving a lot because again I had some problems in the first issue uh, with kind of facial changes uh, like inconsistencies there but I think that's gone better um, a lot better throughout the issues and um, I like that Jessica Jones is being shown a little bit more in the Marvel Universe I think that's definitely been needed um, so I enjoyed that uh, but yeah, I thought it was an okay issue. I don't know if it's really worth buying. It definitely progresses the story, but it's a lot of plot lines that I'm not very interested in. Uh, so I gave it three stars. It was an okay issue. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page on, um, for Like Father, Like Daughter. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.